Today, I'm going to showcase some low latency tweaks that pros use in order to lower their input delay. Please drop a like if this helps and subscribe for more videos. First up though, I've started to see a lot of pros take advantage of Nvidia's new feature, automatic overclocking for GeForce GPUs. All you need to do is download the Nvidia app, or if you've already got the app installed, you can head into settings, about, and tick the early access box. That'll then initiate the latest update to download and install where you'll notice a new section called system inside there under the performance section you'll notice a new automatic overclock feature that allows you to overclock your gpu in one single click which nvidia state that once you do enable it they'll perform a scan to test your graphics card's capabilities over the course of 10 to 20 minutes they recommend that you leave your pc idle while this is performed then once the scan has finished and your gpu has been overclocked you can expect similar results to to this on screen where you can see you'll get improved clock speeds and in turn higher fps with minimal risk too as nvidia state that automatic tuning won't damage your gpu nor will it void your warranty the worst thing that can happen really is your pc becoming unstable which if it does you can simply deactivate the overclock by literally just unselecting it and it'll go back to normal next up we've got hone.gg a tweaking tool that optimizes your pc for free on screen are all of their free optimizations which have a short explanation of what they do beside them and if you actually try activating a few of them with literally one click oh and then obviously restart after you'll be surprised with the fps boosts you get in game i definitely was when i applied a few of the paid optimizations which as you expect there is a lot more of these for you to try like you can see how many more there is with just me scrolling on screen here but if you're not satisfied with any optimization you can easily deactivate it with one click so with that i recommend giving Hone a try but with Home Premium you will get unlimited access and you'll get no ads too so I'll have a link in the description below and thanks to Hone for supporting the channel. Next up if you like many pros use a wireless mouse you'll know it comes with a wireless dongle, extender and a cable however when you set up your wireless mouse most people make the mistake of plugging the dongle straight into their PC and this can give you issues like delay and stuff like that. Instead you're supposed to connect the dongle to the extender then preferably connect it to the rear port of the PC, opposite the front port, for a more direct connection. After that, you want to ensure that the receiver is in close distance to your mouse, as this can massively reduce latency and minimize any sort of signal interference. In addition, another thing you can do to avoid delay is make sure you avoid low power mode on your gaming mouse. This occurs when the mouse battery percentage goes below 30, which reduces the tracking speed and sensor acceleration, potentially increasing latency on your gaming mouse in order to conserve battery life so i recommend ensuring that the battery is always above 30 percent charge i myself usually have mine above 50 percent so i know for a fact it's not going to enter low power mode another thing you can do is avoid using rgb effects on your mouse yes i know they might look really cool and you like the various animations and lighting effects you can choose from however research has found that they do add slight latency running an rgb effect slash animation can take a great toll on the mcu it requires a lot of pro processing power and will delay other processes. Just like when you play a game with extreme graphics while live streaming, your CPU will get overloaded and significantly decrease your frames per second, so you're better off turning off those RGB effects. And you can do this easily guys by just going into your mouse's software, then heading into the lighting section and just simply disable the lighting slash RGB effects inside of there. A lot of you out there may not need to even do this, as I know with Logitech's new super light mice, they actually don't come with RGB. Like there's literally just like a clear logitech logo on the back and you can't even get rgb effects anymore so a lot of mouse companies are catching on to this next is islc or intelligent standby list cleaner the first link should be the one where you can download it once opened you can customize it to lower your input delay the list size should be left at default but below that you have free memory setting that should be changed depending on how much ram you have in your system to check this you can press ctrl alt delete go into task manager head into performance and under memory you'll see it there and whatever ram you have you can put the corresponding values inside after that you can click this button which will clear the value and there's also an optional setting too which can lower your timer resolution you can change that to 0.50 tick the box and then press start next up something i like to do on the regular is clear my epic games cache which epic games says that clearing the cache often resolves some display issues that may prevent you from using the launcher or games this could potentially solve the issues that may prevent you from 
actually launch and unplay the game itself. First thing you want to do is go to the bottom right of your desktop and find the Epic Games Launcher. You then want to right click on it and close it down. You then want to press the Windows key and R on your desktop to open up that run box. Type in percentage sign local update a percentage sign. You want to then press E and find the Epic Games Launcher folder. You then want to open up saved. Then inside here you want to look for some web cache folders. Now for me I've only got the one but you may see these other two folders that are on screen right now and basically what you want to do is highlight all of them and actually go ahead and press the delete button to delete them and then after you've done that just go ahead and open up the epic games launcher which will reset all of the cache and when you go into library and then go ahead and launch any of your games that could potentially fix any delay issues another thing i like to do is clear up the windows log files to do this is very similar just open up that run box but this time we're going to type in three different commands and the first one is temp now once you search this you'll notice there's a lot of random sort of files and these are all your windows log files that can be deleted but literally just temporary files and to delete all these just press Control a then the delete button however you will notice that some of them can't be deleted and that's completely fine from that though we've got another command which is percentage sign temp percentage sign again and it's a similar thing loads of random like sort of folders just press Control a to select them all then delete and again some can't be deleted and that's absolutely fine and then finally we've got the prefetch command which is like this on screen again similar thing just loads of random log files just go ahead press Control a and delete all of those next from that you want to open up the windows search menu and search control panel inside you want to set your view by to large icons you want to select the mouse then inside the pointer options if you click on that button use default what this will do is it will reset your windows mouse settings to default which can actually fix a lot of issues like your mouse behaving unnaturally feeling like it's got some sort of slight delay oh and while we do talk about your gaming mouse you guys want to also ensure that your mouse sensor is clean as this can be responsible for some delay issues the reason for this is because there is a lot of dirty mouse sensors out there that can be affecting your gameplay and you might not even know it so be sure to turn over your mouse and have a look then you can follow steel series guide on how to properly clean your mouse safely which i do recommend and have used myself and after you do follow this guide all that grime and dirt that's on the sensor will be removed which will allow your mouse to function and perform how it should do but that right there has been some tips on how you can lower your latency if it helps be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and use my code in the fortnite item shop and before you do go check out any of my other videos on screen right now.